Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our county food pantry that allows you to come in twice a month. You can come in once for what they call Commodities Day, which is they hand out um, set items, you get what you get kind of thing. Um, and then the other day you get to come in and shop and it is you get so many items per shelf or type. So like it'll be four cans of um, vegetables and a can of fruit or a section where they will have different boxed items and you get to pick so many items off of that, sh that shelf. Um, so you get to shop, which is super nice because you can say, you can pick the things that you know that your family will eat. Um, so yeah, that was today. And let me show you what we were blessed with. For dairy, we got a gallon of 2% milk. Um, these were out front on a shelf that is take as much as you want. And I was looking at these kind of going, I don't know that we will use them as fondue. I don't have a fondue pot. I mean, who does these days? But I'm sure you can do like a double boiler. But I also thought, I bet you could just mix it into like mac and cheese or something like that. Like you could just cook macaroni and mix it in there or on um, cauliflower to make it low carb, something like that. So I grabbed a couple because I figured I can probably freeze them. Um, and we'll see. It can't hurt to try them. We got this big 12 pack of Activia yogurt. My kids will devour those. They had, these were out front as an item of take as much as you want and then a, a whole box full. So they had three different flavors. There's honey crisp apple, apple, and then cinnamon. And I just grabbed a bunch. Um, these are my toddler's favorite thing right now. She's two and a half and loves these. She actually already ate one of them on the way home. <laughs> For meat, we got this thing of bratwurst sausages, and we have had these before, and they're really good. Um, they had some items from Walmart that had been um, set back because they weren't good anymore, and this is uh, chicken tin Not good. Yeah, they've been refrigerated. So these are chicken tenders, and I'm going to give those to my kids for lunch today. There is some cauliflower florets that are um, that have been discounted and but are still fine. Like they're not even browned. So, and they're organic even. This guacamole crunch chopped salad is my lunch today. I can tell you that right now. There are, there's this box of overnight oat bars that I thought my kids would probably like to go in a snack box where they get to pick out one snack a day. Um, there's this 12 pack of um, individual packs of cashews. And they are sriracha, so I'm assuming they will probably be on a little on the spicy side. Sorry, there's a truck driving by. And I have the door open because it's cool. Um, so I will try some of these. If I don't like them, if they're, you know, I'm, I'm okay with some spicy stuff. Um, but I think my husband will probably like those. So that's why I picked those up. And that's a 12-pack. That's huge. Uh, there are two um, pineapples that are looking a little worse for the wear. I will just make sure that those get chopped up and used as soon as possible. I will probably chop one of those up for lunch. There is a thing of this sweet nut cluster and flake granola that I thought sounded really yummy. A bag of flour, which is always useful. I make sourdough items. I have a sourdough starter, and so that will get fed to that. Um, all right, let's swing up here right quick. I picked up this um, Asiago cheese bread. And what I will do with it is I will slice it open kind of like a hot dog, only I'll go ahead and cut it all the way open like a hot dog bun. And then I will make this into pizzas for my kids. Um, they absolutely love when I do that, and it works out great. makes a really easy pizza crust. They also make really good, like you can cut it open and put meat and cheese and um, like spinach and that kind of thing and then bake it. And it makes a really nice sandwich. So, yum. These are Everything Bagel croissants that um, my oldest saw, and she loves the Everything Bagel seasoning, so I picked those up. There is a four-pack of these lemon muffins. Don't look at the carb count on these. You don't want to know. Just steer clear of them if you need to eat low-carb for diabetes or anything like that, because these are not pretty. But as a nice little treat for breakfast one morning, they'll work. They also had several of these, and this was kind of one of those where I got to pick out the two bread items and then the one dessert item, and then she asked me if I wanted these because nobody was taking them because they were a small item. Um, so she just gave me all of them because my kids love these. Um, we like to do these with, like, tuna salad or chicken salad. 
Uh, canned goods wise, there's a jar of crunchy peanut butter and a jar of creamy peanut butter. There is, I got to pick one fruit, so I picked unsweetened applesauce, and then I got four vegetables, so there's two peas and two black beans. The black beans are a great one to pick. Um, open the can, drain them, and mix it into your taco meat filling. Um, it stretches it so much farther, but still tastes great, so that's a nice little trick that you can do to stretch your taco meat. Um, there are six cans of the chicken, the small, and then one of the large. I love these. I use these all the time to make keto chicken nuggets, to um, make chicken salad. You can throw them in a casserole. There's so many uses for those. These were an item that was in the baby stuff that is, um, you can take as much as you want. And it, they just kind of have it separate because it's four households that have babies. They looked interesting to me. It's four pouches. And it is, um, like these little sippy water thingies. They kind of look like the squeezy, like the kids fruit squeezy pouches, but they're a little bigger and they're fruit infused water. And I looked, they're actually really low carb and really nice clean ingredients and they're organic. So I thought, oh, that would be a nice little special treat for, um, I made try drinking one of those because it's low enough carb. I could do it. Um, but then also I just thought that would be a neat, something different. I'd also thought about, I wonder if I couldn't like partly freeze it. So it's kind of slushy and be a nice little treat that way. Anywho, there are two gallons of heavily dented, um, distilled water, which is why they're there. They've been donated by Walmart. They're a great value brand. Um, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're not popped. They're not leaking. They're just dented. So we'll make use of them somehow. Um, you got to pick out, they gave you seven or sorry, one bottle of water for every member of your household. We got seven because there's seven in our house. We drank two on the way home. Um, and then you were also allowed to pick up seven other drinks and she found out that I like these seltzer, and so she gave me a whole flat of them on top of my other, I drank one on the way home, <laughs> my other choices, because she said they can't get rid of those. But there's just, nobody wants them. Um, everybody's going to pick the soda, the energy drinks, those kind of things, and I love these. So she's like, here, take this, and I was like, yes, please, you're not making me sad by any stretch. Uh, we got to pick out some non-food items. I picked up another one of these mum scented um, Miss Meyer's clean day. I love these. They're so convenient. I have actually been taking and pouring like a tablespoon or two of this in the washer when I do a load of laundry on top of my laundry soap and it scents the laundry soap. So we can't, we have to use unscented because we're sensitive to, um, like the, the dyes and the chemicals in regular laundry soap, but this stuff doesn't bother me or any of my kids. So I've been throwing just a little bit of this in for kind of some extra scent and it's been nice, just a nice light scent. Uh, they had these out front on that table of take as many as you want. So I thought these might be something fun to <coughs> add to drinks, get us to drink our water. A roll of toilet paper, and then these were on that table of take as much as you want. And I wasn't paying attention. I ended up picking up a medium and a large size um, because obviously large isn't going to fit me, but medium should, and large might fit my husband if he needs to use them for some reason. But I thought these would be nice for um, cutting up jalapenos this summer when those are ready in the garden. Um, and then also they're kind of nice just for um, if you're handling meat and you don't want to touch it. You don't want to have to wash your hands, especially if it's greasy meat, like you're making sausage patties or hamburger patties. Um, <coughs> it's nice to not have to touch it. So, sorry, I got a little <coughs> hors d'oeuvre down the wrong tube, if you know that reference. <laughs> it's from an old movie, old kids movie. So, that is everything. Huge blessing once again. Super excited to get so many of these things. I'm going to go have myself a big salad. The kids are going to have, we're probably going to do this and that, and maybe an applesauce pouch or one of those yogurts for lunch. I always like when we get some... Um, things from the food pantry that we can immediately use, especially for lunch, because yeah, it's 2.30 or 12.30, sorry. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless. Yeah.